compassionate health care providers educational series. Atomy creates and distributes high quality products. Things we all use every day, such as shampoo, conditioner, soap, toothpaste and toothbrushes, beauty items, cosmetics, health supplements, and much more. And Atomy is committed to bringing these prestige luxury items to the mass market. This strategy is known as Mastige. And Atomy's concept is to enable consumers to swap brands. Atomy has an ethos of absolute quality, absolute price. It means Atomy is dedicated to ensuring its products are of a quality that is unmatchable for the price customers pay. And it's so simple to switch brand when what's on offer is unbeatable in quality and price. Remember that absolute quality absolute price quality that is as good as if not better than designer brands at a fraction of the price Atomy is an online shop or shopping mall and hey it's free and easy to join and set up an account yes free to join and once registered as a member you have exclusive access to the Atomy product range. Here's the really good part. Buying from Atomy gives you points, known as personal point value, or to keep it really short, PPV. Each product has its own PV. Your PPV accumulates and never expires. You only have to make one purchase a year, no matter how small, to keep your account active. And that's no problem because you love Atomy's absolute quality and absolute price, right? It gets better. You share Atomy's secret with others, they become members, and when they shop, you all earn PV. And what does PV mean? Cash, paid to you as commission. This is a new age of retail. Atomy puts the consumers first, and rewards them for their loyalty. Although some members simply choose to shop for their own personal needs, many decide to develop their membership into full-time lucrative businesses. Let's look at how this works in a little more detail. Let's say you recommend Atomy to your cousin Jane because you love using Atomy products so much. Pastor Bernard, I can't see anything. And give her your ID to enable her to register as an atom. You can't see anything? No. I okay. can hear it, but I can't see it. I can see. Can't see it. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Oh, okay. I'm seeing. I can okay, see. Good. Okay. I can I see. Can okay. Fantastic. All righty. Okay. All right. To be member. Jane is then automatically registered under your A market, your left leg. Then you recommend to your friend Adam. And he becomes registered in your B market, your right leg. Adam could be in Canada or China. Atomy membership is global. You, or Jane, or Adam, can then sponsor more members to join your left or right leg, your A or B markets. They are added down the line. And they don't need to live in your country either. Everyone in each of your market legs generates PV. Remember that? Point value? You have your own PV, and every day your market legs generate group PV. As soon as your own PV exceeds 10,000, earned from purchasing one Atomy shampoo or face wash, for example, 
and each of your market legs exceeds 300,000 each month. You earn commission. Everyone in each of your market legs who qualifies becomes eligible to receive the same amount of commission. The larger your markets and the greater the collective PV, the higher the commission will be. And it's worth noting, keeping your market legs equally balanced is important. Group PV is calculated on the leg with the smaller PV volume. This is part of the secret of success with Atomy. Hard work is never wasted. And it doesn't stop there. As your network grows, so does your regular collective PV. And the hard work invested takes you higher up the ranks of mastership which comes with life-changing bonuses. You can cherish the spirit of Atomy through its products of absolute quality and absolute price. You can share the good news and reap great rewards by doing so. You may have discovered Atomy compensation videos on YouTube or Channel Atomy already. More details about how it works is freely available. And Atomy's success academies and seminars will provide regular inspiring support to members and prospective members too. Absolute quality, absolute price. All right, all righty. Absolute quality, absolute price. Okay, good, excellent, excellent. So, what I'm gonna do next? I am going to read the, the guidelines. I am gonna bring up the guidelines. Read the guidelines. It's still new to you know to quite a few. So, before we begin. I will read the guidelines. All right. Compassionate Health Care Providers Educational Series Guidelines for our Zoom meeting on Thursday. The purpose of, of this call is to introduce listeners to a few of the possibilities available with Atomy products. By sharing our stories and experience, we will have professional practitioners who will highlight various products and answer questions related to those products. Now then, got to read this disclaimer. Hosts, guests, and contributors offer general information on improving health and wellness. This is not intended as diagnostic or uh, medical advice. Don, yeah. You should consult your medical doctor or holistic doctor before in enacting any suggested strategies for health and wellness improvement, including those in relationship to preventing or threatening or treating specific uh, diseases. Uh, now then, uh, we love for people to you know share testimonies, and but there are certain things within our testimony we need to cover. And when you share your testimony, try to share a brief description of the problem. Okay, a brief description of the product. When you share your testimony, what Atomy products did I use? The name of the product, how much I took, and possibly how long before things turned around. We want to experience a short walk it might be uh two minutes might be three minutes you know sometimes it might be a five minutes testimony okay but that's all right we we cool all right we're out. okay and then you want to express where you are now today tell how the problem has changed for the better and using the anatomy products okay so that's where I was, what products I use, where I am now. If you have 
Test results, results such as blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, etc. Please include those. Okay. Now then, when we get to the Ask the Doctor part, questions will be placed in the chat box. And the presenter will choose which to answer. We are not going to give any medical information or consultation on this format. You are expected to ask questions on your own behalf. On your own behalf. Unless you have uh, specifically agreed to ask for someone you know, okay? Uh, only the designated professional will give the answer. And now we, we you know, sometimes we have two or three professionals that are on, but they work as a team anyhow. They know each other. So, you know, you might hear from a different one. You know, so we, we know how a team is. We got Dr. Joy, Dr. Walitha, Dr. Roberta, Dr. You know, Dr. Ivy, those professionals. Okay, so thank you for your full cooperation as we continue to share. It's, 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 been, it's been, what, a year, maybe a year now. It's been probably about a year and a half. You know, uh, I forgot when we started. All I know is we keep, we keep on going. So continue to share this opportunity with others. Share, 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 invite, invite, invite. Okay, all righty. So, like I said earlier, we have um, Nova Bright that's gonna share some love on this evening. There's about 73 people on here right now. See, a lot of people don't, you don't get here on time, you'll be surprised at what you miss earlier. Okay, but this is going to be a very powerful testimony. And after she shared that testimony, we're going to we're going to do a little celebration. I got something something special I wanted to do as far as celebration is concerned. Okay, so um, Novalette, you may unmute your mic and share your testimony. Did no Nova Lad? I saw you earlier. Yeah. She trying to unmute her mic or she might have want to get a drink of water. Let me see here. Well, while we are waiting on Nova Lad, I want to see um have Dr. Roberta made it in. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. I, I can't, are you there? Yes. Uh-huh. Sorry. Yes. I had no connection. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, no I was one driving. You oh, you need to pull over. <laughs> I, it, it's the location that I was in while I was driving. Okay. All right. We want you to be safe. Okay. Yeah. All righty. So, okay. No, no, Valette. Would you like to share your testimony? Yes. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Um, so, my mom had a heart attack on Friday night, on her birthday. So, I'll share a little story. Mom can be very, very stubborn. I've been trying to get her to stay on the products. She bought Hemoheem, she bought her Omega-3, she took them for a while, she stopped and she got some more, she had them sitting on her counter, not taking them. And my mom is in her 70s. So, in the middle of her having her heart attack, because she chose to call me on the phone while she was having her heart attack, I'm in Orlando, she's in Ocala, my sister's at church. The phone went dead. So I thought she was gone, literally. I thought she died talking to me on the phone. Somehow in the middle of my mom having a massive heart attack, it came to mind to take hemoheme. So she took three hemoheme and it stopped the heart attack immediately. 
Am I still there? Yes, you're still there. Okay. Yes, it stopped her heart attack immediately. Let me pull over here. So I don't hit another dead zone. Right. So my sister was 20 minutes away. So my sister would not have made it to the house and my mom was not calling 911. So by the time my sister got to the house 20 minutes later and she's like, we're calling 911. My mom was bold enough. She's not in pain because when she called me, all I heard was <gasps> my chest. She could hardly talk. When my sister got there, she's speaking well. She's like, oh, I'm not going to the emergency room. Him or him did the job. So that was around 8 p.m. Finally, they got her to the emergency room after midnight. She did have a massive heart attack. And on top of that, they said it's impossible that she didn't have a stroke. Of course, she didn't have one because <clears throat> they could tell that. But the doctors are saying they have never seen anything like that. My mom's um, blood pressure was like 205 over 98 or something like that. And they're saying it's impossible that she did not have a stroke at the same time. Wow. So guys, hemo, heme work. Now they did check her. They kept, they kept her in the hospital until Sunday. They wanted to do, um, she has a blockage. And of course they wanted to take care of that. My mom insisted that she, they're not doing any surgery on her. They're not putting anything in. I don't know if you guys have done the research where when they put the stand in, the possibility of you having another blockage is high and you can have a stroke or another heart attack from that. She said she's not doing it. She checked herself out of the hospital, <laughs> went home, and she's drinking hemo heme like it's going out of style. My sister actually called me from the hospital and said, how much of these things you can take? Because my mama's already had four and she keeps going at it. So and the, the thing about it is I fought with my mom to purchase Hemo to get back on the products. She got Hemo Hemo two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, guys, if she didn't have this product, she would be gone. So right now she's taking four a day. And of course, she has the omega-3 she's taking. I told her to take four omega a day because omega, the whole idea of her, she was supposed to be on it to prevent this blockage because that's what omega does so now she's taking four hemo hemo day four omega day i told her to stay on the four for both until next week and then she can go back to the two but she checked herself out of the hospital because she knows that she'll be fine because she's taking her hemo hem now so i tell you this product is something else i was just shocked that it stopped that heart attack Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. When that I is... said my mom was, you wouldn't believe it was the same person that could not speak. She was having so much pain. When she put the phone down to take the hemo, hemo I thought she was dead because she didn't tell wow. me what, what she couldn't speak to tell me what she was doing. And I kept saying, mom, mom, no answer. And I hang up the phone and call back like five times, no answer. And I called my sister that was driving like a crazy person home. I said, I think she's dead. So, wow. you know, this product is powerful, right. really powerful. And now my mom is a believer. She's telling everybody about emo heat. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You know, you said something very special there. You know, because at the time she was talking to you, you know, and, I, you know, I wouldn't have thought about him or him myself. It never and I'm crossed sure my you, mind. It, it never crossed, right. You know, I don't think anybody on here would have thought about him or him in the middle of a heart attack. But she heard something, spoke to her mind. I believe it's you the know, Holy Spirit. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can say, look at God. Look at God. It you was know, not use, her time to go. Right. It wasn't her time to go wasn't her time to go look at god huh i'm talking about show sure now so we give god the glory and we thank uh you know um the lord we, we are very grateful of adamy sharing these wonderful products you know 
doing the research and everything. It is so good. It is so awesome to all. So mm -hmm. we're um, earlier today. I want to share. I want to bring y'all in on a conversation that uh, Dr. Joy, but also uh, Dr. Roberta. You know, and uh, it was very powerful, very educational, indeed. Um, Dr. Roberta, uh, if you dare unmute and say hello to the people. Dr. Joy, if you're there, also uh, unmute and say hello to the people. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are y'all doing? Hi, Pastor Strozier. Hi, Dr. Hey. Lita, Dr. Joy, Reverend Margaret. Everybody, hi. 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 Hi, Rosalie. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Dr. Walita, you got me to say hello. Mm hmm Indeed. So, Earlier today, first of all, um, Dr. Roberta, because you know that was that was an awesome testimony that Nova Lake gave, you know, about that heart attack. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is your assessment of the situation on what happened, or uh, when she took the hemo him? How you know? What is your assessment on that? Um, talking to me when she took hemo. Yes, Dr. Roberta. Yeah, when she took the hemo him. When she so. took that hemo him, what happened was her blood vessels was clamping down and she wasn't getting oxygen and blood flow to the vital organs, which was her brain and her heart. And if you don't get oxygen to your brain, that's a stroke. If you have oxygen deprivation to the heart, heart attack, to the kidneys, kidney failure, to the eyes, blindness, so to the brain, loss of memory. Um, so when she recognized, so that lets me know that hemohem acts like a anticoagulant. That would have been the same thing as she'd gone to the hospital and they would have said, well, take this aspirin quickly. Uh, take this nitroglycerin under your tongue. But she recognized, she was able to think radically enough that, hey, I have the hemohem here. Hemohem opened up her blood vessels so that she could get some oxygen to those vital organs. And it stopped the it stopped the formation of the stroke, the blood clot, the aneurysm, the heart attack, whatever was going to happen, it was going to explode. So the hemohem went in and a pipitose, those clotting factors, it thinned out that blood so that it could get around whatever blockage, whatever passageway. That's why it's a blood modulator. It walks the streets and drive the highways of the blood vessels. So it's kind of like unblocking the traffic. So that's what happened. She was able to act very, very quickly. Had she not, it could have been a very catastrophic event to where she would have had a massive heart attack or a hemorrhagic stroke meaning bleeding in the brain or a blood vessel. And so when we get those type patients, you have within four hours, you have to have everything done, including your CT scan, the medicines on board. You have to do the stroke exam, the stroke test. There's just a, a conglomerate of mechanisms that we have to go through in order to try to save that patient before we have irreversible brain damage or a massive heart attack. So thank God that she was able to think very quickly and grab that hemoheme. Now we'd see just how powerful the hemoheme is, that it can stop a stroke, it can stop a heart attack. It can just clear out those arteries and veins very quickly. It's just like when you pour water on acid, it does nothing to it. But when you pour you can pour soda, carbonated beverage on it, 
and it washes it right away. It, it, you clean your battery acid with carbonation. So that hemohem act as a carbonator, but in a good way, because it cleaned away the plaque and was able to open up those arteries so that, because blood carries oxygen. If you don't have oxygen, you got a corpse. So it was able to open up those blood vessels so that oxygen, so that blood flow could get to those vital organs, to the heart, to her brain. And that's why she's here today. Right. And I mentioned earlier that I had someone that tested their blood pressure and it was it was stroke level on, on her right side. And when she tested her left arm, it was it was normal. So what was going on there? And 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 and, uh, and I want everybody to learn from this learn because we got ahead of this you know but what was happening there with the stroke level high blood pressure going on in the right arm and uh, she called dr dr joy you know uh immediately about it because the left arm was normal what was going on what was the situation there since she's an adult there's about four reasons that causes that if she was a child in a child, when that happens, it's always tetralogy of flow, meaning that they were born with a birth defect in the heart, a uh, vast deference of the great vessels, meaning that the heart is reversed. The left side is the vessels on the left, on the right, and the right side is on the left. But she's an adult. So as an adult, you build up, you have um, that collateral circulation, the collateral circulation is when the blood flow is able to go around the plaque. So she has plaque buildup in her arteries. When that plaque buildup in the arteries, it narrows those arteries. And your blood vessels are already the size of a thread, like you're sewing with a needle. Those are the size of your blood vessels. When we say um, do a blood vessel transplant or heart transplant or a cabbage. We're taking those veins out, washing them with water, making sure there's no holes in them and we'll lay them back into the chest and they will migrate back into a vein and artery. You don't sew them in, you just lay them in there because it's such a vascular blood supply that blood itself will gravitate those arteries and that blood flow bypass the blockage. So plaque buildup on three places mainly, it can build up all over the body. The worst places are the brain and the heart. When it builds up in the brain and then you have those constricted blood flow, so you can't get oxygen to the brain, which is why people with high blood pressure have those God awful headaches. I call them tension headaches. So I use the analogy to explain what blood pressure is. Blood pressure is a resistance or restriction of blood flow to an organ. You have your water hose. When you turn the speaker on, if that water hose is laid out in the grass, in the sun, and it builds up all the foliage from the tree leaves, from the branches, the sand, the gravel. It's filled with all type of debris. You turn your water hose on, you can't see the debris, but you don't, you turn it on and you keep turning it on high, you're turning the speaker on high and it's just trickling out. You can't see the debris, but you know something is in there blocking it. So the pressure on the speaker is high. The pressure in the heart the heart is, trying, is pumping really, really hard. It's really pumping and it's a muscle and it will pump so hard until it will intrude over on the lungs and they call it uh, cardiomyopathy, meaning it's worked so hard like the calves in your legs, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The more it pumps, the bigger it gets because it's a muscle because of the pressure. The pressure of the brain putting pressure on the heart saying, I need blood, I need blood. The heart doesn't care so much about the periphery of the body, the legs, the fingers, because you can live without that, but you cannot live without your brain. 
So the brain being the command center of the body is saying, hey, I'm not getting blood flow. I'm getting a little bit of blood. Come on now, pump, pump, pump. So the pressure comes from the brain, which is why people have aneurysms and strokes. It's putting pressure on the heart. The heart can't take it. It gets overloaded. When the heart gets overloaded, then you got an aneurysm. You got the kidney failure. You, you have the headache, the blurred vision. That's called, um, there are three types of blood pressure. So you're turning the speaker on, you got the high pressure, but no water is just trickling, trickling, trickling. Same thing in the body. You turn up the faucet, but the pressure, you got high pressure, but it's resistant because of the plaque buildup in the arteries, in those microscopic blood vessels we call veins and arteries. So the blood can't get past. It can't go past that. So when we put you on the blood pressure medication, all it does is widen those little veins and arteries. It stretches them and make them wide so that blood flow can get to those vital organs. But the plaque, the problem is the plaque is still there. You can take your blood pressure medicine and we'll tell you, you gotta take it the rest of your life because it's not gonna sweep like that hemohem. The hemohem went in and cleaned out all the garbage. And that late, she was able to survive today because the hemohem herbs are powerful. It cleaned out all the garbage. It didn't just stretch her blood vessels. It cleaned it out so that she could get oxygen there. So, but blood pressure medication, the way it works is it stretches those, it widens your arteries. When you widen those arteries, they lose the elasticity. They become less elastic. It's a reason they're elastic so they can go back together. But the blood pressure medicine holds them open. And when you stop taking the blood pressure medicine, it's hard. And then it can't go back together because it's done lost elasticity. So you got a big wide open hose and then you got all this little blood flow coming through. So then you got a heart attack because you stopped taking your medicine because this the medication have damaged those arteries. The plaque is still there. The cholesterol is plaque. Calcium deposits can be plaque. Fatty, fatty tissue in your blood can be plaque. It's deposits, we call it plaque. It can be calcium deposit. It can be cholesterol deposit. That's known as plaque. So it damages those arteries. When it's just caked up there on it, it damaged them. So the blood vessels are damaged. When the blood vessels get damaged, then cancer begin to develop. Kidney failure begin to develop. That's the correlation between cancer and blood pressure medication. And another correlation is the blood pressure medication because it damages those arteries and the problem is still there because the plaque is still there. And it's you're damaging those walls of the blood vessels. You're damaging those receptor sites. So those receptor sites are not going to take in any nutrients. They're damaged. They're sick. They're weak. They're stressed. They can't take in any supplements, any vitamins. They can't absorb the nutrients. And then you go to the doctor and say, well, you know, I took my blood pressure medicine. It made my stomach hurt because your stomach is a muscle just like the heart. You got the heart brain connection. They don't, they, he's a stomach doctor. He's only looking at the stomach. He's not looking at the whole body like Adamy. He's only looking at the stomach. He's not connecting the dots. He's not looking at the blood pressure medicine. He's going to say, well, okay, well, let me give you some Prolisec or let me give you some anti-acid. But you need the acid to break your food down. So then you got a bigger problem because now you're taking Prolisec. Your food is not being broken down because he's stopping your body from what it's supposed to do naturally. It's supposed to break the acid 
down and because it could break down your food that you eat, but you're on an anti-acid. So where do you think the acid is gonna go? It's gonna go, your ankles are gonna start swelling. Well, now you got another problem. My ankles are swelling. And then the fluid gotta go up and down you go to the refrigerator and you don't know why you standing there at the refrigerator staring at the refrigerator like who are you or where did you come from or why are you in my house you got brain fog that brain connection so those three types of hypertension the first type of hypertension is essential hypertension you go to the doctor and your blood pressure is 130 over 80. that's high blood pressure that's essential high blood pressure. What causes essential high blood pressure is your regular lifestyle. Your diet may not be healthy. You may not be on atomy. You may not be taking supplements. It's, you might be stressed out. Salt, sodium in your diet, nervous system. Nervous system is stress. Well, the doctor says my nerves. What he's saying is, Get your mind together. It's stress. What are you stressed about? Diabetes causes essential hypertension. Kidney disease causes essential hypertension. Hormone, females, when your hormones are imbalanced, maybe you're perimenopausal or menopausal, your hormone imbalance can cause an influx and a fluctuation in your blood pressure. Hormone imbalance can lead to cancer. Blood pressure medication leads to cancer. They give you the medication. Then you go from essential hypertension to benign hypertension. Benign hypertension, oh, I have high blood pressure. They put me on this high blood pressure medication. Now you got benign high blood pressure, secondary hypertension. Secondary is always secondary to, is a cause leading to something, is the cause of something that's already going on. Now, because he gave you the Prolisec, you don't mess your stomach up. Now your blood pressure is even higher because you can't digest your food. You're bloated. You're constipated. You can't remember. You got brain fog. You're taking all this medicine. I need something for my brain. Antihypertension. Antipsychotic. He put you where well, you can't remember. Well, let, well, okay. Let me give you this Celebrex. Now you, it's going to increase your blood pressure even more. He's just compiling on top of symptoms, and the plaque is still the problem. The root cause is still there, and now you've compounded all these problems on top of that. So secondary hypertension is secondary to diseases. It's secondary to birth control pills. If you take birth control pills, that can lead to cancer. It can lead to high blood pressure. Migraine medication, psychotic medication, cold, some cold medications can lead to high blood pressure. So see, we need to take Atomy for everything. Whether you have a cold, whether you have a sore throat, whether you have an aneurysm or whether you're constipated, you need to be on Atomy Herbs because they will sweep the body and clean the body and clean out the plaque and clean out the cholesterol so you can be healthy. And food, you have to have the proper diet as Dr. Joy and Dr. Walitha, very two highly educated women doctors when it comes to food. Food is a first line defense. If people would eat healthy, the, the hospitals wouldn't be in the hospitals. It wouldn't be in existence. So the next hypertension, he's given you all of that. Next, you got malignant hypertension, which is where she was when she got the hemohem. She got into the stage where Belinda, um, the young lady that we spoke to, wrong name, but the young lady that we spoke to uh, today, she, her, when the blood pressure is up, that's the state that you get to malignant hypertension. Malignant hypertension is dangerous. Malignant hypertension, your nose bleed, you have a, a horrible headache, you have vision changes, you get dizzy, you get blurred vision, you get nauseated because your body is trying to cope with the stress. 
of the high blood pressure. So those are the three stages of high blood pressure and how they occur. And when you get there, then your chances of a stroke, aneurysm, and a heart attack. That's when you have a blood pressure of 180 over 110. Secondary wow. high blood pressure is 140 over 90. Okay. So what products, um, what maintenance products, uh, would you share with us the maintenance products? Uh, because I know you, you know, some people, uh, arteries probably already stretch. They probably mm -hmm. already stretch and it's got the plaque in there, mm -hmm. you know. So what's going to support you know, uh, health, and, you know, and wellness as far as those arteries that's already stretched, you know, can it be like revitalized? Yes, it can be revitalized. It can be reversed. It can be reversed with probiotics because what goes in the mouth goes to the gut. What goes to the gut goes to all the other organs. A good probiotic to keep the gut swept clean. A good prebiotic and a good postbiotic and noni juice is a very good maintenance because noni is all three. You got your fermented, which is your prebiotic. You have your yeah. fermentation to build the acidophilus in your gut. Then you got your probiotic, which is your um, acidophilus uh, bifida in the gut. And then you have your postbiotic. So noni contains all of those. Once you clean the gut, then the gut can repair itself. Once you, and it cleans the blood. The hemohem cleans that blood. It cleans the plaque. Once you scrape the plaque off, you can start on working on the problem. So it cleans it. So noni juice and the probiotic that we have. Adamy has a good probiotic, ten billion. Just dissolve oh, it in water. So noni, the probiotic, the B12. Uh, one of the young ladies at work, her eyes was constantly running like she was crying all the time. And she didn't have any energy. She just had a hip surgery. It's been like this for months. Every time you see her, she's constantly wiping tears from her eyes. And she started taking... B12 two weeks ago because she didn't have any energy. And I gave her the B12. And she came to work today. She said, you know, my eyes have been dry for the last two days. I said, yeah, I noticed. So the B12, she took it for energy, but the herbs knows what the body needs. She was vitamin B deficient. So being deficient in your minerals can lead to hypertension. She took the B12, and B12, as you know, it's it's the complex. Adam and B12 have all the mushrooms in it, all seven stamen mushrooms. Covers your body from head to toe, brain, heart, lung, kidney, gut, all of it. She took the B12 for energy. So, but the B12 had to clean up what was all the deficiencies that was going on with her before she could get the energy. It knew that she needed, it needed to clean first. So her eyes are dry. She's happy. And also I told her, I said, well, you need to take the lutein and the xanthane too, to maintain that for the eyes. Adamy has both lutein and xanthine for the eyes. So she's on those, she's on the B12. Also, she's on the D3. So noni juice, probiotic, and D3. If you don't heal the gut, you don't heal anything. Like Dr. Joy always says, your, your heart is as, as young as your arteries. You as healthy as your arteries is clear. So if you don't clear the gut, which hypertension starts in the gut. Everything starts in those microscopic blood vessels. So noni, probiotic, B12, D3, the hemoheme. Omega. Yes, thank you, Dr. Joy. Chime in, Dr. Joy. 
that oh, uh, uh, that was Dr. Williams, but you gotta have a little of that Korean red ginseng too. Thank you, Doctor. It's a good yes. Wow. That that's an adaptogen. And it really, it wouldn't matter whether that blood pressure was low or high. It's going to bring it into a balance. It is amazing. So, and, and you know what else would tighten those loose arteries? Is that vitamin C, 2000. You know, because a lot of times we have stretched skin. And vitamin C is a very, very good skin I mean, I don't know what to call it it's it helps with the elasticity I I had a very good exercise guru in my life and and she was into makeup a lot and she had the vitamin C spray for the face to keep that tightness and toneness in the skin so that 2000 milligrams of uh vitamin C um, I really want to think, um, uh, you know, it's very calming to the spirit as well, because sometimes we've got blood pressure issues because the stress is so high. And so just uh, the vitamin C and the ginseng and that omega is wonderful to add to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, the, the red ginseng, are we talking about the... Um, jelly stick. The, the je oh, the jelly sticks. What are we talking oh, about? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. The jelly sticks. Okay. All righty. Cause that. Okay. Excellent. And calcium. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yes, that's for the muscles, nerves, and things. I. Uh, can I just throw one in? Because a lot of people are suffering from allergies right now. That okay. vitamin C is a game changer on that. Um, this one girl, she can't stand to go in old houses with dust and a possible mold. She takes seven of those vitamin C and her whole head and respiratory system just opens up immediately. I just want it because the pollen is out right now. Mm -hmm. You're talking about seven of the 2,000? Oh, she's, she says she's done it twice in a day to help her out, but she's a big girl. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can take more. <laughs> right. You can take up to 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Yeah, that's, that's those dosages they've been giving you for cancer. Mm -hmm. and so how would, you, how would your body react? You know, so that just for people can know, you know, let's say if I took five and five, you know, uh, that'd be what, 10,000 mm -hmm. milligram? 20,000 milligram. Mm -hmm. oh, Don't okay. go camping. <laughs> Unless you carry your uh, paper towel. <laughs> Don't carry paper, toilet tissue, carry paper towel. No plan on going to the movies, huh? Okay. Okay. You be running okay. around Atlanta, all that energy. Um, yeah. If you want to take five, just kind of work your way up to it. You can okay. do two at a time if your body would love it, but just do okay. two at a time. And then the next time, if you wanted to keep working it, do three and then do four. And okay. um, what I want to say about calcium, calcium is important too, just like the omega-3, because the blood pressure medication um, is, some of it is calcium channel blocker. So it blocks the calcium. It blocks the calcium and the heart rate goes very, very low because calcium is what make muscles move. And so a lot of times people are on heart blood pressure medicine. They take it for their blood pressure and it lowers heart rate because it's blocking those essential electrolytes that the heart need to keep it charged. Your electrolytes keep your heart charged. Your calcium, your potassium, your magnesium, that keeps your heart pumping and keeps it charged. So when you take blood pressure medication, 
that blocks those electrolytes, then it's going to affect your blood, your heart. It's going to affect your heart. The next thing you know, we're going to say, come on in, let's do a stress test. So, and then the next thing you know, you're going to want to do stents, and then you're going to have a heart bypass, and then you're going to go on a pacemaker because the heart, you're knocking out the heart, the natural pacemaker of the heart. The natural pacemaker of the heart has the intelligence to know that the heart beats 60 to 100 times per minute. So your heart rate is 30 and 40 because of your blood pressure medicine. That will end, that buys you a pacemaker. Okay. Um, and, and everybody want, just wants y'all to let y'all know you can put your question in the chat. Put your question in the chat. Someone has already put their question in chat, which is how many hemochem to take to correct the issue with the with the uh, ve blood vessels, with the vessels, um, with the arteries? How many hemochem? Uh, is it the, what the normal two or two? You know, or two to four? How many hemochem? Hmm. Doctor Walitha, Doctor Joy, are experts on that. Well. <laughs> Hey, your maintenance for hemohem is two per day. That's the minimum, two per day. That's the maintenance, and that's okay. the preventive. So if you're trying to correct something, uh, it would it would be good to double it. Okay. All right. Okay. And Let's see I would add ginkgo nada to that because... It's helping to chelate and pull things out, the ginkgo nada, pulling heavy metals and different things out of the arteries and capillaries. So taking two of those along with that hemohem. Okay. Someone said, I noticed that hemohem has corn syrup. And, and what's been said is, she said that I thought that that was bad for the heart. It, Anthony, not, go ahead, Dr. Willith. I'm sorry. I, I don't think there's enough corn syrup in there. That's just so you can you can it make it palatable. It's just enough to make it palatable. It's it's not a, an uh, active ingredient. They just they're very they're very zealous about listing every single uh, ingredient, but it's it's not a major ingredient. Okay, excellent question. Thank you, Rose. And I agree with Dr. Walitha. And it's and it's one of those things where the the risk, um, the benefit outweighs the risk. And the way that atomy herbs are the way that they're processed, they're not processed like your typical American herbs. Um, they have lipo, liposomal um their electrolysis where they uh, split molecules and split atoms and make it like Dr. Walitha said, make it very pal palatable and make it very absorbent. So it's the process. It's not so much the ingredients in these herbs, it's the process by which the way they have processed these herbs and formulated them and modulated them. So like Dr. Walitha said, that's not enough to do any harm. Okay, thank you very much. Someone asked, uh, what can I take for brain swelling after taking prednisone? Prednisone? I would start with that 7C. That's that's the time when you definitely need that, that vitamin C. Because that, oh. that, that's pulled, that every time you take that, it's pulling 500 to 1,000 milligrams of C out of your cells. You have to put that back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you have that swelling in the brain because um, high blood pressure, like I said, it damages those cells. When the cells uh -huh. get damaged, the body automatically reacts by sending other white cells, white blood cells there to help fight whatever inflammation is going on. So high blood pressure causes inflammation in the body. Uh, let me see. I believe it's Joy that said, some said, 
said she gets bad feelings when she takes it in the morning. Well, you know, take it with some food or take it in the afternoon. <laughs> take it when you can get it in. <laughs> right. You know, you don't necessarily have to take it in the morning. You know, something you might take with food, for example, like myself, zinc, I can't take zinc without food. No way. I cannot take zinc without food. But I can take it with food because I know zinc is good for me. I take, you know, mm -hmm. so, you, you know, you got to work it, got to work it. Um, what can help with very low iron levels and low uh, platelet count? What can help with very low iron level and, and low platelet count? He, hemohem, vitamin C. Hemohem okay. and vitamin C. Because many right. times you have plenty of iron, but you're not being able to absorb it because you don't have the vitamin C. Vitamin C is necessary for the absorption of iron. Um, the other thing is you must eliminate things that block the absorption of iron, such as caffeine. I hope y'all writing this down. Caffeine yeah. blocks. Hey, if you're gonna take, hey, if you if you drink tea and take your take your iron and by the way, it's not it's not gonna work. That's right. Wow. That's is, right. is there other other vitamins that block uh, iron, uh, other minerals or something that block iron? No, mm -mm, no. Okay, okay. But we do have the atomy uh, iron also. If it's if it's if it's so low, right? We do have okay. the same iron. And if you're taking iron, like you said, iron is only absorbed in the presence of vitamin C. Iron rides on the back of vitamin C to make the cells permeable so that it can get into the organs. So if you take it with water, it's not gonna work. If you have to take iron with vitamin C, a good vitamin C is ester, you see ester C? That absorbs iron really, 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 really well. A lot of people like to drink orange juice, but I don't really recommend that because of the sugar. But if you do the um, VA vegetable juice without all the sodium, that helps. That absorb it. Otherwise, it's just going to constipate you. Like Dr. Walitha said, you're not going to absorb it. Okay. It just constipates you because the body is trying to get rid of it. Okay. Someone said, what can I take for a damage? What, what's it? Is that thymus? Thymus? I hope I'm pronouncing that word right. Thymus. Mm-hmm. Okay. A, a damaged thymus. That's your immune oh. system. Your thymus. You, you, vitamin C, like Dr. Joy said, hemo, like Dr. Walitha said, hemohem and vitamin C. You got to build that immune system. Right. Okay. That's that's a that's a quick answer right there. That's a pretty good answer. And um, and someone say with lupus, lupus is auto autoimmune disease, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, so basically the same thing with the lupus. Uh, what is good for estrogen blockers? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is good for estrogen blockers? I don't know what that means. Her what body is, is producing well, too oh, much what is, estrogen. What is, no, what is, what is a good estrogen blocker? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's what that is. oh, 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 Crucif cruciferous. You want to eat one serving of cruciferous. That is one thing. Um, and the cruciferous are like your um, cabbage, uh, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, that whole family. Those actually um, antagonize estrogen. But see, realize that you get estrogen from so many sources. Um, you must eat organic because the pesticides and the herbicides are all estrogen. That's mm -hmm. what those are, phytoestrogens and estrogens. And the hormones, the growth hormones that they put in the meat is estrogen. 
That's why you see those big thighs. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she got jokes tonight, y'all. A lot, a lot of estrogen. <laughs> okay. So you have to make sure you get hormone free if you if you're gonna eat meat. Grass fed if you're gonna eat beef. No hormones because that is estrogen. And that causes fibrocystic breast tissue. It causes breast cancer. Oh. It causes all types of cancers. Thyroid cancer, because your thyroid secretes hormones. Estrogen is a hormone. So it causes thyroid cancer. It causes breast cancer. causes other cancers as well. Okay. Somebody asked for the channel, the channel address. I'm gonna put that in the. Uh, I'm gonna put that here in the chat channel address. Okay. Indeed. Um. Hmm. Nine twelve is the time. Mm, thank you very much. So, really, um, I was checking the chat. Really, basically, um, a lot of questions have been answered already. So, uh, get with the person who invited you, and y'all talk about it. You know, talk about the program on tonight. Uh, if you miss any information, they'll be able to share, uh, you know, their notes with, you know, and um, and don't forget to invite. We're going to get ready to end on this evening. Thank you, Dr. Walita. Thank you, Dr. Joy. Thank you, Dr. Roberta. You know, I told you it's going to be it was going to be good. So Can I say something, do, Mr. Bernard? Hey, you you are you are special that shows some love. We, and like I say, <laughs> I I was just finna I was just finna end it with that song that we dedicated to your mom. Yes, Novelette. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. The way they broke down the answer you asked, why did he Imohim do the job? I I am and from everything you said, Dr. Joe, I truly believe my mom made the right decision in checking herself out of the hospital because they kept trying to find other reasons to keep her. And then they're saying they need to put a stent in, they need to do this, they need to do that. And I, I'm saying, they're trying to make my mom into a permanent patient, mm -hmm, customer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and because my mom um, was a CNA for years, she knew, she's like, no, they're not doing that to me. No, 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 no. So that's why she checked herself. Now, my sister didn't understand, you know, but I said, no, she needs to leave. What they're trying to do to her, because my mom had no health issues before. This is her first time being in the hospital. She's not on any prescription drug. They're, to, you know, and all the, they, my mom said, now they're coming up with all these lists of things that they want to do. So she'll be fine. And I thank you Excellent. for that answer. Okay. 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 So, um, like I say, uh, the link is in the chat. If you, um, subscribe to the channel and invite, 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 subscribe to the channel, get with your uh, partners and everything. If you need to, um, the channel, the YouTube channel and go back over, the, um, the information. So this one, I'm about to edit, I'm about to edit the music out. But um, but I had to play it. So like I say, I'm going to end it this evening with that one song.